So we're here today to see if we can figure out if water will come, we can get it to boil at a lower temperature than 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. So we're going to use a, a glass bottle, water, a frying pan, a cup, and then a cap, and as well as some ice. So let's get started. So first we have to get it to a boiling point. Okay, it is officially boiling. Um, you can see the movement in the water, it's boiling. So now we're going to turn the stove off and, and uh, do the experiment itself. Did you wash off the bottle before you did this? Yes. The nervous expressed the troubles on putting the cap on. <laughs> You want it upside down? Upside down and put it in the bottle. And it's probably going to drip everywhere. So, so gonna now we're going to take it upside down and put it in the bottle. And let it be upside down. Now we're going to go over here. And we're going to put ice cubes on the top. See, as you can see, it's starting to boil again. And it is obviously not at 212 degrees. Ice cubes? Mm-hmm. Boiling. So the reason this works is because when you boil it all up and then put the cap on, it has all this vapor in there. And so there's a really high pressure in the bottle. And then once you put the ice cubes on, it condenses all the water, lowering the pressure in the bottle, almost making a vacuum, which allows the bottle to, or which allows water to be boiled at much lower temperatures, which is almost room temperature. How 
How long does it keep boiling? A while. Is it warm? Not very. The ice cube. Ice cube is melting. Now this is not actually increasing the temperature of the water up to 212 degrees. It's just boiling at a lower temperature. So the water is only about 70 degrees or so, and it's boiling. Sweet smell of success. I don't know if I'm gonna get this last one in there. We are. There we go. <laughs> See, it's really going. Nope. And now, as this, you know, every, as, because the, the lid's not a perfect seal, slowly the pressure's getting out and it'll slow down. And then when it recools, everything it speeds back up again. But eventually, it will stop boiling. So yes, that is how you can boil water without using a stove, well you have to use a stove, but this is how you boil water under 200, 212 degrees or 100 degrees depending on what you use.